Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from Obi Pixel. Today I just want to give you a quick little update with regards to my comics collection. Yes, apart from making technical videos and videos on media, I like to do a little bit of fun sometimes. And today we're going to talk about comics. Basically, comics I love and I've always loved since I was a kid. Comics gave me the ability to learn, read and write English when I was growing up. And I also became a storyteller because of comics. So I have a lot to thank for when it comes to comics. And there was a bit of a tragedy. If you see my previous videos, I had to leave the comic industry for 38 years, but Ripperverse, Eric July and his team have brought me back into the comics, uh, the comics world. And, and I love it. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys, you guys and girls, you're all incredible incredible talented people thank you for doing this so let's look at the progress update when ripperverse first started they brought about isom one it blew me away as a as a mega um a graphic comic beautiful graphic novel in a way incredible illustrations i mean you've got people like eric july who's the storyteller and the character creator and cliff richards right and you've got gay baltaib i mean these guys are incredible and how do you go wrong with something like this? It was fantastic. It blew me apart. And this was one of the most successful campaigns. But hey, it didn't stop there. Isom 2 was released. And Isom 2 came out and this blew me away. This second book is what really cemented Ripperverse for me. It really gave me the ability to know, okay, I'm going to get back into comics and look at the good stuff today. And once again, these guys came back and they produced an even better comic. Can you believe it? Even better took the characters, fleshed them out, dug deeper into the passions of those characters, dug deeper into the expressions, into the relationships. Fantastic, fantastic comic. Beautifully put together. Stunning, stunning comic. Well done, guys, for this. Well done. But you'd think that Eric July and his team would put the brakes on. No chance in hell. What they decided to do is bring back two people that I've always admired in comics. The two most important people in my comic life when I was a kid. When they brought about some of the most incredible characters and uh, allowed me to learn and read and write English and become a storyteller because of these two guys. And Eric July brought upon himself to bring in Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett, the, <laughs> the legends of comics, and created Alpha Core. Stunning, man. This blew me away. This is what cemented Ripperverse for me completely. And this is what changed me over into, into collecting, recollecting all my comics again that I had lost when I was a kid. And I mean, I'd lost thousands of comics, even first editions. It was a tragedy. Go back and look at my previous videos, you'll understand. But because of this one, it brought me back. And you, you'll be blown away as a kid, as an adult, man, woman, doesn't matter what you are, you'll be blown away by the quality of the storytelling, the characters, the illustrations, the line drawings of this Alpha Core. It was just, it's just incredible. And I actually cannot wait for Alpha Core 2. I mean, Alpha Core 2 is going to be ridiculously cool. So well done, guys. Well done for this. Now, you'd think that, and by the way, I have two copies of this. Absolutely two copies of this. You know, one I'm going to be giving away to some of my subscribers and fellow followers. Now, Eric July and his team didn't just put a brakes again. No, 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 no. They decided to take the world on head on. And my goodness gracious me, they chose two crazy creatives, incredibly well talented, beautiful people that I've always admired in the film industry and the horror industry. You know who you are, ladies, the Soska sisters and uh, brought upon to bring these girls in and create a storyline and take one of these characters we have from Alpha Core and Isom and really flesh her out and created, till today, my favorite comic. When it comes to storytelling and character-driven illustrations, Alpha Core is definitely my favorite. But when it comes to depth of character, when it comes to uh, impactfulness when it comes to storytelling and real heavy character arc. Yaira. Yaira for me blew me away. It is my favorite comic I've had in a very long time. 
and I ordered the main comic cover and of course I've ordered my foil cover purely because I, I, I love the foil covers and wow Soska sisters you girls I did yourself with this and you'll see from my previous videos I mentioned this already and I and I absolutely love the result of this absolutely love it and I can't wait to see what you girls are going to do with Eric July and the team when it comes to Yara 2 because I can I can honestly believe that I think with Alpha Core and Yara there's an incredible combination here and then everything tailors off with Isom I think it's going to be an incredible set of comics to have now for a while I've been waiting and I was quite curious with one of the characters that came up in the Isom series, Gooding. And of course, Eric July surprises the world again, creates a beautiful character, brings it to life, digs deeper into this character and created Polymath. Gooding the Polymath. I've been waiting this for this comic for a while and I ordered the foil because I just love this cover. It arrived today and I want to thank the Ripperverse team, Eric July, and the rest of you who have been involved in this. It looks fantastic. Mike Barron, Will Conrad, Jay Brown. You guys, I can't wait to dig my hands into this. I've done a quick skim over the comic. I'm not going to read it at least three to four times to really get into the story. And I can tell you right now, I love it. Absolutely love it. So now we have a collection. We have good old Gooding back in action we have the Yaira collection absolutely love it Alpha Core in the collection of course two of those no doubt about it Isom 1 and Isom 2 absolutely fantastic how does someone go wrong with this collection this collection alone, for those of you who are kids out there and you want to learn something, you want to really enjoy something, you want to have fun, you want to have entertainment, you want to truly get into characters. What's out there today in terms of comics by DC and Marvel is absolute trash. Absolute trash. I was collecting comics at the age of 10 all the way to the age of 15. I had a tragedy. You'll see in my previous videos. I lost because of very bad kids and bullies at school. I lost over a thousand comics, first editions. Today, if those comics were around today, that'd be worth a lot of money. But I lost them and I, and I, and I lost faith in the comic industry and I left. And in the last 10 years, I've been seeing the comics industry being absolutely obliterated and destroyed because of the crazy political agendas, the crazy gender ideology nonsense, and just the projection of people who are truly, there's something wrong with people like this, who truly believe that they're doing the right thing, but in fact have taken characters that have stood the test of time and they've destroyed them. Instead of, you know, you have your ideologies, you have your, your, your identities, whatever. Why don't you just create new characters? Why don't you create new comics for those and try and build something out of those? Because you obviously don't do very well taking existing IP and destroying it because you've you've come up with with absolute nonsense so those of you who are young out there and you want to learn something you want to gain something you want to really appreciate entertainment you can't go wrong with a Ripperverse collection you just cannot go wrong with it I because of Ripperverse have started to collect comics again and these are not the only comics I'm collecting I've collected the Soska sisters comics I've collected a number of Transformers comics, which I love, absolutely love. And I'm also collecting Catwoman and Batman and Superman. And I'm collecting Spider-Man as well. So I'm getting back all the originals, but I'm not going for the new stuff. Are you joking? I'm going to be absolutely rude here. Are you off your effing mind that I'm going to go and pick up the, 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 the latest stuff that DC and Marvel have created when it comes to comics? No, no chance in heck. No chance in hell. Absolutely not. There's bad writing, bad character-driven plots, terrible bait-and-switch when it comes to characters. You guys have absolutely messed up 50 to 70 years of comic characters. For what? For what? To, to attain a, a, the modern audience. Listen very carefully. The younger generation are not listening to you. They're not watching your TV shows. They're not watching your magazines. They're not reading them either. 
they're on social media like YouTube, TikTok, X, and possibly sometimes Facebook. And they, if they're going to read any comics, they're going to read Ripperverse comics. Okay? They're going to read Ripperverse comics. They're going to read Ripperverse comics. All right? They're going to read Ripperverse comics. Okay? And they're going to read Ripperverse comics. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. Marvel and DC, you idiots. You're not even thinking in terms of business. You've done something completely stupid. And that's the end of my rant. I'm not going to talk about anything, any other nonsense like that. I just want to say to Ripperverse and the team, well done, guys, for bringing and, and, and bringing in another character into the Ripperverse world. Gooding is fantastic from what I can see. I love it already. And for those of you interested in comics and reading something really cool and interesting and getting great entertainment and value out of it, you can't go wrong with comics. They taught me what I know today. They made me a storyteller. Because of these comics, I've written and published seven children's books and three novels in a trilogy. And I've already written another 40 in my life, which I'm bringing out soon. So because of comics, all because of comics. So the next time you, you think you're getting the right entertainment out in the industry, think again. But don't worry about Marvel and DC. We have an incredible company, Eric July, who's got a pedigree of knowledge and all his colleagues and staff and all the people that are helping him, everybody, Gabe um, Altaib, you know, Gabe, Gabe Altaib, Altaib, you got um, all these guys, you got Mike Barron, you got Will Conrad, Jay Brown, Chuck Dixon. You've got all these incredible characters. You have Joe Bennett, for goodness sake. You have the Soska sisters. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Thank you to all of you at Ripperverse. I'm in Wales, South Wales. I received every single one of your comics in perfect condition. Your packaging has been absolutely brilliant. The delay hasn't been great. It's been, it's been, it, like, it hasn't been a big delay. I've received my comics relatively quickly and I've received them at the perfect timings. Yes, it's a little expensive getting the comics from overseas, but you know what? I would rather pay 50 to 60 dollars for something to arrive here than to buy the trash that's out there at the moment between Marvel and DC. Absolutely 100%. So, Ripperverse, thanks once again, guys. And I hope when I come to the United States, or if you guys ever come to the UK, I'll get to meet you guys. And I want to meet the entire team because I am, because of all of this, I am writing for the first time my own comic story and i and i would love i would love to work with people like you guys absolutely love to work with people like you guys because i trust you guys the proofs in the pudding and the pudding's good absolutely good thank you everyone thanks to all my subscribers for listening to me and watching me today and appreciating my channel thank you to anyone new in the channel i appreciate your time and i appreciate your you're following me, much appreciated, thank you. Anybody who hasn't subscribed, you just click on the subscribe and notification. It lets you know when I bring out a new video and it just gives my video to other people that may be interested. Otherwise, thank you for your time. It's Demetrius here again from OB Pixel and I'm signing out.